near a little creek over here. There's a lot of cool rock formations around these creeks and we might be able to find a good shelter. Are you coming with me? I think this would be an awesome spot. We've got three walls, throw a tarp over the roof. Man, we'd be good to go, except big rock here and a rock there. There's just nowhere to lay down. Should we follow this creek? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Look at this, Nathan. Yeah, let's keep going and see if we can find the bottom of the canyon. Look over here. Steady. Holy mackerel. Whoa, those are the biggest tentacles I have ever seen. That's cool. Should we go see if we can find a way down there? Look at this. Yeah, there's like a whole cave behind that waterfall yeah, of ice. Yeah, can I den? Can I have one den? I want... I'm dirty. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that is a big one. How's that one? Oh, I just stepped into water. Right from there, all the way to there, the ice is thin and there's water underneath. This place is cool, look at this. We're just right in the middle of this little canyon here. Uh, oh, nope, oh, that's water. That ice broke underneath me. There's like a tree under the ice. Look how clear this ice is. It's like crystal. You just see right through it. <sighs> it's Nathan the narwhal. Narwhal eating a bagel. Narwhal eating a bagel. Narwhal eating bagel. What is the mice to mice? Whoa. Oh, this is slick. Oh, you want to come back here? Hey, watch out, you're going to get wet, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look at this. Oh, 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 this is slick. You're on the back side of an ice waterfall. Is that cool? See if I can do this without, without biting it. Hold on, Nate. Don't slip. Yeah. All right, Nathan. I think this looks like an awesome spot. Oh, let's find some dead trees. I think that's fine, Nate. I don't think we need to worry about icicles falling on us anymore.
See if you can karate chop. Yeah! Karate dad! Yeah! I'm always super paranoid that I'm gonna run out of firewood in the middle of the night, and so I always end up gathering way more than I need. But I think I've got a good pile for right now. I think we need to get the shelter up. I'm gonna build the shelter out of a 12 foot by 12 foot tarp and a couple of these poles, and I think it's gonna be one of the best ones I've ever made. Ah, uh, my Thermarest mattress just split. These things are ultra light, ultra compact, but they're very fragile. This is my Winterwell titanium backpacking stove. It's a wood stove, only weighs a few pounds. This thing is so light and it's really easy to put together. That little roll of titanium right there turns into a seven foot stove pipe. The stove pipe will melt the tarp if it touches it. So I've got to use these fork sticks to keep the tarp away from the stove pipe. Do you want spaghetti or cup of noodle? All right, cup of noodle it is. Now you can boil water by putting a kettle on top of the stove, but it's not particularly fast. And Nathan's really hungry. So I busted out my little backup butane stove, which I always carry with me. And this thing will boil water pretty quick. All right. Nathan, are ramen noodles your favorite camping food? Yeah. Oh, some warm food feels good. Mm. Mm. I found if you take a little bit of the frozen wood and put it above the stove, it heats it up, it dries it out, so that when you're ready to stoke the fire, it burns really well. Of course, one downside of drying your wood on top of the stove is it can catch on fire. So let's uh, <laughs> let's pull that off. <laughs> that one on fire? That one's dry. About half the time I do these videos, I don't have cell service. So I use my Garmin InReach Mini to communicate with my wife through uh, text messages. This thing allows me to send and receive text me messages through the Iridium satellite network. And that works anywhere on the globe. And uh, it also allows my wife to track her locations uh, in case something happens. And I can send an SOS with this little emergency button over here on the right. And I can use it like a GPS device. And so I'm just gonna send a message to Becca, let her know we're safe and sound and warm. I'll get your camp booties on. There's been a big pain in my butt. And I roll back my mats and there's a little stuff here. Aha, got you. Bump. Let's get it done. I've only got one pack of hot chocolate left. So. You put cat whiskers and cat ears? You still hungry, buddy? Yeah. Well, here, we'll eat one of these little survival bars. Well, we're getting ready to go to bed, and I have learned my lesson from previous winter camping trips. I brought a wide neck bottle. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting out of our bag tonight. 
Good night, buddy. There's a lot of salt in ramen broth. You know how cold it's got to get to freeze that solid. Jeez. Gotta thaw out my water bottle. Well, here on the Outdoor Boys channel, we post new videos every Saturday morning, and it's 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. So I've got to walk out of this canyon to get enough cell service to be able to post my video. There we go. There's your new video. Whew, I'm gonna go back by that fire. It's cold out here. My hands are frozen. Oh, it was cold last night. My bag was barely keeping it together. Hey, Nathan, were you warm? Yeah. <laughs> Nathan's bag is so much better than mine. I gotta get one of those. Yeah, Nathan's got the Feather Friends Plover. It's a negative 25 bag. <laughs> it's so sweet. And the best part is Feathered Friends will customize the length for you. And so I had them shorten it, so it's a perfect Nathan size bag. You ready for some oatmeal, bud? As much as I hate to say it, I think I need to get dressed and get up and doing stuff. It is cold. There's a lot of these really cool rock formations to explore around here, and as soon as we get done breaking camp, I want to go hike to a frozen waterfall, and I think we might be able to find a cave as well. So that's going to be kind of cool. But first, I need to get cleaned up. In case you're wondering how I secured the tarp to this rock face, I just had these little wooden wedges that I jammed into the cracks right there. And over on this side, I tied it off to an icicle. Now we're going to get our tarp off without letting it touch the stove and get melted like I did last time. Well, this has been one of the coolest places I've ever camped, but uh, I think it's time to go explore some more stuff. You wanna go hike and see a cave and waterfall? Yeah. All right, let's drop our packs here so we don't have to carry them up. And we'll come back for them, okay? We'll just stash them behind the tree over here. I think we might be close. Well, look at that. Look at that cave full of icicles. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Daddy. Oh, well, careful. Don't fall down here, bud. Down. Careful, buddy. Don't slip down there. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Wait for me. We go together. Hold on. Look at this. There's a big creek down there. Whew. There was a small cave at the bottom of that ravine, but it looked like it had three feet of water in the bottom. I thought maybe the water would be frozen this time of year and we could get in it, but whew, I would hate to fall down that thing and be stuck in that water. Yeah, it's so pretty in the winter time. Well, look at this tree. It's cracked right down there and you can hear it. Yeah, hear that? Wind's about to knock that tree over. <laughs> you okay? Oh, the trail's getting a bit faint.
Oh, this is pretty awesome, Nate. You glad we came here? Well, there's supposed to be a big waterfall around here too, but I'm not sure if we can find it. Are you crazy, man? You're taking your coat off? That boy's crazy. There we go, right where we left it. I'm so glad you came with me on this camp out, Nathan. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, listen, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more hiking and camping videos, I'll put a link in the description to our hiking and camping video playlist. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.